How's it everyone? So just the other day, you would have seen me looking at the ASOS ROG Ally X. Today, we're gonna take a comparison and look at how far the Ally X has come from the original Ally. Both of these handheld gaming devices bring some impressive specs to the table. But which one is better suited for your gaming needs? Let's find out. On one hand, we have the ROG Ally. So the Ally was ASUS's entry into the handheld gaming industry, and it's portable, powerful, and built for serious gamers on the go. Um, on the other hand, the Ally X, a revamped, slightly more advanced version of the Ally, had much more interesting improvements and took from some of the user requirements and user feedback to take it to the next level. So let's take a look at how they match up to each other in terms of design, performance, and unique features. So starting with the design, both devices look very similar at first glance, keeping that distinct ASUS gaming aesthetic, but there are some subtle differences when you take a closer look. The ROG Ally had a sturdy ergonomic design with a balanced weight, while the Ally X builds on that with an even more lighter body, slightly sleeker edges that makes the Ally X more comfortable for extended gaming sessions. The Ally X also includes improved grip texture and a more premium feel overall, which could make the difference uh, if you are gaming many, many hours. Now, let's talk about the display. So both the Ally and the Ally X have a seven inch 1080p display, but there is a subtle difference here. While the resolution remains the same, the Ally X has improved brightness and contrast ratio. This makes colors pop more and it's more noticeably better when you are outdoors and just in like external environments. So if you're planning on using this as a handheld uh, in different lighting situations, the Ally X might be a better choice here for you. Of course, performance is key when it comes to handheld gaming devices, right? The ROG Ally is powered by the AMD Ryzen Z1 and the Ally X steps it up by being powered by the Z1 Extreme. This gives the Ally X a noticeable edge in handling high performance games better frame rates, as well as a smoother performance when you're playing AAA titles. So again, if you're planning on playing more demanding games, the Ally X is the suitable choice for a more seamless experience. Battery life is another crucial factor when we're talking about handheld gaming, right? Unfortunately, both devices are similar here. The Ally X has a slight advantage with a better optimized power management system so the Ally X gives you a, about 30 minutes longer compared to the original ROG Ally. It's not a huge difference, but it could give you that little extra uh, playtime in those crucial moments. Both devices are charged by USB Type-C fast charging, so you can also get a quick juice up um, and get back to your gaming on the go. Now let's move on to software and some of its unique features. Both the Ally and the Ally X run on Windows, so giving you access to a full Windows gaming experience. But the Ally X comes with some additional customization options like custom RGB, um, as well as advanced gaming profiles that allows you to tweak the performance for each individual game. It's small, but for those of you who like to have a lot of control over your settings, the Ally X is obviously a bit of a better option. So here's the big question. Is the ROG Ally X worth the higher price tag? Currently, the Ally retails between eight to 10,000 and the Ally X is retailing for about 18,000. So for that extra cost, you're getting a better processor, slightly better battery life, upgraded design features and ergonomics. And if these upgrades or if these improvements align with what you are looking for, then the ROG Ally X is the device for you. If not, 
and you're looking for a budget uh, handheld gaming device, then the Ally might be suited for you because with, a with it being a previous generation, you get a discount on the hardware. Um, the Ally and the Ally XI fantastic handheld gaming devices that each has its own advantages, right? The Ally has a great value for money, while the Ally X has worthwhile improvements for serious gamers. Ultimately, it comes down to how you plan to use the device. Um, if you want a solid, reliable gaming experience on a budget, go for the Ally. Um, it's the choice for you. If you want a top tier performer and don't mind spending a little more, then the Ally X is definitely worth your consideration. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been me comparing the ASUS ROG Ally X to its predecessor, the ROG Ally. Um, if you want to check out a full review of the Ally X, click the card up there, which will take us, or take you to our review of the device. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant, and I will catch you in the next video.